French cinema at its best, a highlight of the Hong Kong International Film Festival and Film Art 2010, providing the presentation TV5 Monde Asia Pacific, the Asian arm of the giant global French language TV network, aiming to provide both a sense of the entertainment events and an appreciation of Hong Kong's long-standing movie industry. One will be more on the uh, Hong Kong industry of cinema, past and present. Uh, more and more um, producers are now coming to Hong Kong to make co-production with uh, Hong Kong uh, artists. I mean, many French movies uh, came here uh, last year, and there will be some more coming on this year. Could the Hong Kong International Film Festival actually become one of the top festivals in the world of its kind? It has to become one. It deserves it. It deserved, uh, it's, you know, when Europeans are talking about Asia, they're talking about Busan or they're talking about Tokyo. They forgot about the Hong Kong one. And I think it deserves the place of number one in Asia. In terms of quality, in terms of programming, in terms of, uh, well, everything. You're involved in cable television, in satellite television, but it's a multimedia situation that you have, isn't it? We are broadcasting so over 100 fresh new movies a year, which is more than any theater in the world will broadcast in terms of uh, fresh movies. So, uh, yes, this is our way to promote uh, TV5 through the uh, cinephile. I'm quite amazed by the quality of the uh, Hong Kong viewers here. They are very much cinephile. They know very well the French cinema. They know the international festivals, cinema in general, but the French one in particular, and they, they probably know it better than I do. TV5 Monde offers nine channels of news, entertainment and sport, but it covers a very wide selection of the TV industry. That's cable, it's satellite TV, it's also video on demand, as well as internet TV and mobile telephony. But it makes sure that people continue to click on and make sure that this network continues to maintain a competitive advantage. The French Channel opened its Asia Pacific headquarters in Hong Kong in 2007 to bring the second largest TV network globally to the Asia Pacific, providing a neck and neck challenge to giants CNN and MTV. Quickly developing a subscriber base of 22 million in the region compared to 220 million globally. TV5 Monde Asia Pacific set up in 2007 in Hong Kong as your regional headquarters here. Why was that? We previously had an office in, uh, in Bangkok, in Thailand, and uh, we wanted actually to be more uh, proactive uh, and also more professional. I mean, we wanted to change the image from, I would say, netting channel to uh, just another cable TV channel. We are a general entertainment channel. Our thematic is to be in French. Some other thematics is movies, uh, sports, documentaries, cartoons. Our is French, that's all. This is the only difference. But it's just a thematic like others. I mean, cable is here to provide diversity, giving choice to viewers. So we just uh, try to uh, fill this gap. So Hong Kong is your distribution hub for the Asia Pacific, but also a technology center as well. This is a place where everything is uh, decided for the region and um, the marketing and, and distribution hub uh, from the re for the region and also it's true that uh, this office has a research and development uh, role for, for the company because many things are happening in Asia. Technologies usually appear here first. Hong Kong was also a testbed for TV5 Mon's aspiration to become a regional multimedia player in the digital media field, being small enough to accurately test services, but big enough to allow for adaptation of those services to other markets. Hong Kong was a test market. The head of Asia in my position, uh, we were free to air, basically free to the operator. Uh, part of the strategy was, to, by changing the, the perception of the channel, was to switch also the, um, from a free to air to a pay channel. Then you have this whole new technology, peer to peer. Where does that really stand in the way forward? Are we entering the fourth year of the development? Uh, we, the first three years were only um, now, we only focus this in Japan for the development. Uh, we recently uh, launched it all over the Pacific, the Pacific area, which is for us going from, I would say, GMT plus 8 to GMT plus 13 uh, zone, which is back like Hong Kong, Singapore, uh, China, Taiwan, Philippines, Korea, Japan, and Australasia in general. Such applications come ever closer with the explosion of mobile. It's equally transportable to TV, assuming a working business model applies. 
The only actually real area in the world where there's a big, big development is Asia-Pacific. Uh, if you look at the, the forecast for the industry, the growth is definitely in Asia. Traditional markets like Europe and the US are not growing that fast, I mean just declining. Asia is growing fast, there's a huge demand for cable, for TV, uh, for development, for technology. Uh, it's catching up very, very fast.